Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, comparators. These are used for, uh, as you know, measuring base to ogive on a loaded round. Or uh, some guys also use them for uh, sorting bullets from base to ogive. Uh, what's the difference? Is there a difference? This is a, uh, the Sinclair nut. It has uh, your 22 your 6, uh, 25, 26, 7, and 30. So you get uh, everything. That's a one stop shop right here. Um, the problem is the dimensions. And uh, we're going to get into that. Uh, these are uh, comparators. And uh, these are uh, from Bob Green. These are, uh, he calls his Bob Green uh, caliper tool, I believe. Uh, they're not cheap, so you know don't get the sticker shock. But uh, they, uh, he knows what he's doing, and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you why these are better than this. Uh, if we go to the, I'm just gonna go to the Brooks website, and uh, they're uh, 6.5 barrels. The bore is 256. On their seven millimeter, their bore is two seventy six, and their thirties, the bore is two ninety eight. Okay, so what does that mean? That's that's you know that's the actual bore. That's the of the barrel, not the land, uh, not the grooves, but the lands. So when you put your uh, when you chamber your round your bullet will be going into a you know it fits a seven millimeter it's going to be going into a 276 thousandth hole in the bore of the barrel so if you measure the uh, this is a 30 caliber let's look at the seven millimeter this is the seven millimeter uh, Bob Green tool the caliper tool. We zero these out. Okay. If we measure, and again, I know this is not the most precise way to measure a hole, but you get the idea. These measure 298. Okay. Which is precisely what the bore is on a 30 caliber Brooks barrel. Now, let's measure the uh, Sinclair tool, uh, 28 at seven millimeter. If we measure it, it measures 272 and a half. So 272, that means it's six thousandths smaller than the bore of the barrel. Well, that means it's pretty much useless because it's contacting the bullet at a place that doesn't even touch the barrel. So that, you know, to me it doesn't matter. It's, it's close, but it does not matter. The Bob Green tool actually contacts, it actually measures the bullet at the point where it's going to contact the lens. That's the point that you want to have consistent. Um, the the Sinclair nut, uh, you know, it's going to get you close, but it's not going to get you dead on. You're not measuring at the point where you need to be measuring. Um, this is the uh, 6.5. It's, you know, the Bob Green 6.5. It measures 256. I don't know if you can see that. 256. Okay. And right here, you know, according to the Brooks website, their 6.5 barrels have a bore of 256 thousandths. If we check the uh, the Sinclair nut, we find that we get 252 and a half, 253. Again, close, but it's not what we need. It's not measuring at the point that we need to measure. Um, this is the 30 caliber. 
this is a seven millimeter. Again, 276, 30 caliber. 298. Okay. Again, it's dead nuts on what uh, Brooks does with their, their barrels on the bore. Let's measure the, the, the Sinclair tool. 296, 297. So actually, the 30 caliber is the one that's really close. You know, it's the closest. Uh, that one will probably work just fine. It's 1,000. There it is, it's showing, there it's showing 298 right there. Um, so the 30 caliber hole is actually what it needs to be. But every other hole is useless. So when you buy this tool, you can pretty much just buy the 30 caliber hole and you got the others for free because <laughs> they're useless. Uh, again, they'll get you close, but they're not going to get you where you need to be. Now. Uh, I don't know what this nut cost. Uh, I bought it a long, long time ago, but I can probably buy. I know I can buy more than one nut with what I paid for one of these. But I guess really what we're buying here is correct data. With these, you're getting correct feedback. With this nut, you're fooling yourself. You're thinking you're doing it right, and you may not be. So if we have loaded rounds and they're, you know, dead nuts within one thousandth with the uh, with the nut, but then we measure with the Bob Green uh, tool because the Bob Green tool contacts at a different place, and we talked about the OGI profile when we talked about the Bob Green tool, the the sorting tool. If that, as we know, the profiles are not all the same. So from where this nut contacts the bullet ogive to where the comparator this one contacts the ogive if there is there might be a variance there might be enough that this one shows that you're dead nuts and this one will show that you're not again this one is measuring exactly the point where the bullet will contact the lens so anyway for my money I'm using that one because that one again it's giving me the correct feedback so again, you know, um, check your tools. Don't assume that they are right. They are right, because guess what? Most of them are not. And uh, again, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, I modify my tools. A lot of my tools. Uh, most of them are not right. Uh, this is one example. So uh, check your tools. Make sure you're getting what you're paying for. And um, if they don't work, get you the right tool. Anyway, guys, if you like this, uh, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, Happy New Year, and uh, may all your groups be one whole.